So the smart thing would be to do a downpour too. So we'd get blown up again. But that was more of a, they liked to jab there. Nina. Ryan Gosling. Dang. How are we going to beat that? How are we going to beat that? Round one. Damn, you're right. Not the right uh, outfit, though. Unless it's, like, special ops army. Whoa, it picked us up? No. Oh. Got it. KO. Round two. Fight. Wow, that's a natural combo. Okay, good to know. Protect your legs, friend. Ooh, nice. Stuffed out our uh, back one. We're dead. Oh, it's such a long rage art. <laughs> okay, nice, nice. They're pretty, um, their movement's pretty intense for the most part. They know where the wall is. They don't want to be against it. We're kind of working their, us, them to it anyway. Good punish. Ooh, that was probably a forward sway that they messed up, so I'm not gonna read too much into it. Okay, now they're looking for it. Now they're looking for it, which is fine. That means we can start using our mids now. I think we can win. Our right side is a little bit rusty right now, which is, uh, okay. So, we're not getting a whole lot of information from this person. They're actually playing rather tight. Um, they are fishing with this move that I'm getting the feeling is probably like minus 13 or something. Um, so I'm gonna try and punish it with a jab. It looks like it ends in like a 3 plus 4 looking like kick at the end. They also like to do jab into down port one, so if after the jab we can try to like we can try and sidestep to the left. Wow. It's minus fourteen, so it's even better than minus thirteen. Okay. Thanks, Dr. Puffer. I was actually gonna, if a 13 frame worked, I was gonna... Wow. If the 13 worked, I was actually gonna try to jet up right next time, but uh, that makes sense, thank you. Nice punish. Oh really, is she? That makes sense. Nice.
can't believe that worked. I cannot believe that worked. We're playing so one-dimensionally right now with the... Uh, good punish, jeez. Good punish again. Oh wow, I didn't mean to press another one. It wasn't a punish. I know I mashed again. That's her minus, that's her 13. That's her 13, and we did a minus 12. Oh, I pressed. I was gonna say, that's minus 14 on block, right? I just messed it up. Good punish, though, there. Oh, why did I press? That's plus. Oh, it's a mid high. That's what it was. Final round. Okay. Fight. Ooh, nice. We need to be careful again with how we place these three plus fours because they're all sidestepping it. Man over here. I thought they were gonna mash because they were Nina, but that's probably where we got tricked. Um, okay, let's let's take a second to regroup. I've been playing pretty aggressively and pretty uh, in their face, so let's. Um, I don't know why, but I have noticed it. So let's try and go back to like thinking about what's going on and how we can play a little bit more methodically against this because. Oh wow, that's good range too. Counter hit my 3 plus 4 from there. Damn, we just missed. Minus 14 right. Oh, I thought I low parried. I thought I low parried. I don't think I did it. I think I did it too slow. Wait, that's safe? Must be a hive in. Ooh, that's lucky. Round three. Fight. We need to stop. Why did I do that? That was dumb. I should have waited to see what they would do at least. Oh, I thought I... This might be dead? Nope, not if we do that. Good punish, holy crap. Alright, we 
got one. These are pretty... We've been playing against some good players so far. Pretty good players so far. Um, essentially, what I am noticing, what I'm seeing them do is that they do a lot of sidestep down for two in situations. They'll do like one, two, sidestep down for two and stuff like that where they're trying to get me to Round attack with one. a button that they can sidestep and punish. Fight. Um... And we really just need to like hold our breath when we're when we're being attacked in those situations to try and just avoid getting a uh, you know blown up basically because she doesn't have enough lows that like scare me yet she hasn't shown us too many um so it's like I'm not like ready to get you know Oh no. No. Nice. Round two. Okay. They don't backdash after after that, I noticed. I knew they were going to press, but I knew I could get away with that. Nice, again. They know Brian. The one time I did delayed knees, they uh, tech rolled. Wow, that's so unfortunate. Wow, I just tried to advance. That was good. Wow! Don't sidestep after that. <laughs> oh, I didn't break. Wow, we got him. Remember how I said they like to do um, side steps after like jabs and stuff? That's what I was looking for with the one plus two there. Good punish. Oh no, I press. Looking for those lows at that point. It's done, it's done. They got their movement is better than ours. That's the one thing is like there's not. Yes, there are things that they are doing that are that we can try and like hone in on. Like for example, the whole jab into a sidestep, you know, pressure into a sidestep. We can hone in on that type of stuff. But at the end of the day. What's happening partially is that they're whiffing, making our moves whiff, and punishing us more effectively than we're doing the same to them. So we can either look for better whiff punishing against them, or just face our moves better against them. Dang it, I thought that was a punish, so I 
just did it. different, letting them actually do the tech roll there. Nice. Our taunts have been decent today. missed. proficient at punishing us. They know every punish possible against us, and they've been with punishing us really well. So it's uh, pretty pretty impressive, to be honest. So I'll have to... I have to play cleaner against them. Um, I do think that the answer here is not actually that complicated. We just need to, like, stay as patient as possible and get those with punishes when they happen. Because they have with moves, and we have just let it happen. They're patient. Why did I... This is what I mean. Like, they're waiting for us to hang ourselves every time. They're waiting for us to hang ourselves every time. They're like, oh yeah, this one's launch punishable. They're gonna go for it. And look at that side step. That's insane. We just really have to be careful with it. Fourteen one. Nice. Round four. Nice. 
nice. Oh yeah, that's, that's one of those really funny easter eggs for sure. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. We're dead. Oh, they messed it up, I think. Why do they walk forward there? They don't want to win on that? Final round. Fight. Oh, I didn't launch it. Their movement is so freaking fast. It's one of those backdashes that makes me like question when they're gonna be anywhere. forward into our rage drive in the previous round i wonder why it wasn't like they did anything dishonest we're not dishonest but it's not like there was a connection drop for them so unless it was like them literally connection dropping and walking forward but the connection's been stable too so i don't really get it round one. but yeah their punishment is scaring the crap out of me we really have to be careful with it i think down four is actually a pretty uh reasonable answer it almost always ends up being do the real punish for that. starting to get a little bit pressy. I can feel it a little bit. Only in those situations, though. Alright, they've calmed down again. Woo! Been getting a lot of traction just for uh pushing to them them to the wall let's try and um Get ready for the next battle, battle, battle. so what's been working for us is being patient mid-round basically like yes i'm still and i'm also 
adjusting where I place my back ones in 3 plus 4 just to be a little bit closer, but also trying to be a little bit less frequent with when I use them so that I'm not going to get stuffed out as much. Because I am trying to get them to throw out a uh, keep out move and like jet up it. seem to be losing their focus a little bit on these wall situations because I don't see them as like correctly like tech rolling versus not tech rolling. I guess they figured out that it wasn't the right punish at this last second. Alright, that's gonna reach every time I guess. Wait a little bit. Hit him with a max rage hatchet. I guess so, Hugh. We're uh, I think they're also getting tired though. I feel like, I feel like they're also playing differently now. But it could just be like we figured out a few things and now they're having trouble adapting. It could just be that. Like maybe it's not like a fatigue thing. But it does feel like they're freezing up a little bit more. Round one. Fight. Good punish. See what I mean? Like that's what they want to be doing, and their that's what they their game plan has been. That oh wow, that was really nasty. trying to attack their legs a lot more because I noticed that they don't really protect their legs a lot. That seems to be their natural thing is they don't duck. Oh man, that hit us anyway. Oh wow, that works. Okay. We kind of folded after that. I wasn't really sure what's going on anymore. <laughs> losing us the round. Oh, I thought I walked around it, damn. Ooh. I think that would have killed us anyway if we stayed on the ground. I held back. No, I held down back, that's why. I held down back, that's why. But yeah, see, we lost round the last round because we were just like, eh, I'm going to throw a th sidestep one out of that. And sure enough, it whiffed and we died. So I think it's one of those, like, we just need to, like, be... 
consistent with our patients is the word that I'm looking for. We need to be consistent with our patients. Round one. Fight. Don't be afraid just to walk and block. Wow, nice. Sidestep was insane. Round two. Fight. Again. So we've kind of fallen back to how things were like a couple games ago, right? I throw out a move, it gets whip punished. mean to do that and I'm well, sad that it traded <laughs> being a little bit stubborn with not ducking that string and just mashing out of it in a lot of cases. So that's getting us in trouble. So what we're going to focus on for the next game is we're going to focus on, for one, the wall rising was at 1, 1 plus 2 or 2, 1 plus 2 or something like that for 13 frame. Uh, we're going to focus on seeing it and ducking it because they're, fi they're finishing it most of the time. So, uh, and using it in open too. So we might as well. And then the second thing that we need to focus on doing is uh, don't throw out moves from that far away. Except for like down four. And the only reason is because down four is like really long. But like throw it more from like a 1 plus 2, 1.5 range. Like there, that was risky. Good side step. They found it. Time up. I got it. <laughs> Round two. Fight. <laughs> I also need to try and look for that. Is it 2 4? It's pretty quick, but. Can they confirm that? That's really sick if they can confirm that. Oh no. Okay, I pressed. Oh, 
Oh, I thought I ducked it. But I think I ducked and did wall standing one too early. They're looking every time now. Nice. Cool. Got one again. Alright, so... The things that we are very afraid to use right now is 1 plus 2, 1, they're ducking it every time. So it's like every time we let it rip, they're already ready and they're going to launch us for it. Um... And they're not really, it's not really like a mix up, so to speak. The r real, like, quote, safe thing we can do is just one plus two by itself. Let them go for the duck. And then just hit them with something else, like, as a mix up afterwards. They missed it and we've punished them for it. We've been waiting. That sidestep was really good. Fight. Oh, why did I duck? Righted the ship a little bit. Not by a lot, but a little bit. Um, at this point, though, like, it's what I said before. We're trying to get them to whiff something. We're trying to get them to whiff that, uh, the whiff their whiff punish. Because their whiff punish is a very high risk, high reward, um, move. So because of that, if they mess it up, we get to, a lot of their moves, if they mess it up, we get to get a big punish off of it. Thank <laughs> you. 
Nice. I didn't break it correctly. Damn it. <laughs> if they if we broke that, we would have had the wall. I broke it! No! Good punish there. We're dead. Really good series of rounds there for them. Dang. You lose. Really good series of rounds for them. But dang, I thought I broke that throw. I literally was waiting for it, and as soon as it came through, I pressed my 1 plus 2. But I guess I was slow. I guess I was slow. I was waiting for that throw. She hasn't thrown out any other throws. They haven't been, like, really, like, testing our throw game. They've just been, like, you know, just going for the 1 plus 2, basically. Which, like, I guess that makes sense. It's the most damaging one. But it's, like, kind of, you could, like, use a bit of variety. Nice. I feel like that's also punishable. But, you know, like, launch, I mean. God, that move looks so weird. I'm never, like, expecting it to be the, the string, but it has a very unique, like, wind-up where she sort of, like, spins around afterwards, even though I don't think she's actually spinning, but it looks like a spin. Fight. Oh, man, that tracks. We should use down two a little bit more. Down two's a better tracking move. See, she does like a spin. Round three. Fight. Wow, that whiff was so good. playing really sharp again they woke back up so that's really good that was a really smart read on my uh 
hatchet there because we've been setting up so many mids and then they just kind of knew that we were trying to set them up for that so they just went ahead and made the read right it right when it mattered based off their health bar basically fight that as being a DC. I think they were just messing with Not messing around, but trying to get us to win something. Oh, I got back up. Rage art uh, after her rage drive, but it didn't come out. Specifically, right now, machine guns is actually not bad because they are, they like to sidestep to the right, and that's going to catch them. So it's like, just just for good measure, if they're trying to sidestep out of the pressure, their habit will put them on the machine guns anyway. So it's like they have to make a deliberate sidestep in the other direction right now. Okay. Still, it's very scary playing against them. They have very, very strong fundamentals. Um, Going somewhere. Round better than ours. Their punishment game is just crazy good against us. So we can't get away with anything. She has really strong side stuff. Jeez. Oh, we messed it up. Yeah, this is good Tekken. This is good Tekken. They're very good. I don't feel like I can give them much room because as soon as I give them any like leeway or any any ground, I die. there's a wall here. I feel like I'd be disadvantaged without a wall. Because the wall gives us a chance to like kind of cut their movement down. That's what my kind of goal is, is to get them at the wall, especially the corner. And then that'll like make them move a little bit less. Oh, 
Wrong punish. Ooh, they mashed. You see him mashing there? Maybe it's just a really good. I was sidewalking, so probably, yeah, just ran up and just did it. to go for more lows when they're at the wall for now because they're uh they're very afraid of the back four for a good reason um so i think they're willing to take hatches in that situation as long as they're not dead oh i need to stay down longer think so i did the math and it was gonna be like like in a while right like the site says what time in japan time they go live and i think it was like midnight japan time or something no it was a random time japan time it was a random time japan time so like 5 p.m japan time or something you know something really random that calculates out to like 3 a.m or like 3 a.m. Central, so you'll have to you'll have to look up, find the closed beta site, and it'll say what time it goes live. But it's not midnight, from what I remember. Yeah, I, I checked because I wanted to see if I could stream it tonight. Because if they went live like midnight Japan time, then uh, we could have streamed it because that would have been like you know midday on Thursday. See them shimmy out of it? Oh man, that was sick. I really tested them. And they passed. Round 
all clowning. None of our punishes are working. <laughs> So the three plus fours are still getting shimmied out a little bit. We still need to we still need to keep being careful because we do sometimes get caught by that still. Whoa! I guess I delayed it. Final round. Fight. Right. We'll never learn matchups just from deathmatching people online. Look at that. Yeah, they just waited a little bit. They didn't move in as much. And sure enough, they got the whip punish. Oh, I'm so sad. We didn't get the we didn't get the punish on that throw. I was looking for it, but I'll slow. I'm so sad about that. <laughs> So, things that I've noticed that they like to do at the wall, when, they're, when our back is to the wall, they'll try and use a series of, like, ever slower, but ever more plus, like, lockdown moves to try and open us up, combined with those that 1 plus 2 throw, kind of fishing for it. If we can break the 1 plus 2 throw, we're out of the corner. So that's, like, the good news, is that we have, like, a free out if we can break it. Um... But they don't use a lot of lows at the wall. I guess that tracks a little bit. Good patience. I wanted to see. I wanted to see if they would press. I know. Wow. That was really smart. That was really smart. The crazy part was I was going for the one. 
I was going for the extension, so threaded the needle there. Yeah, that was crazy. Round one. They move so fast, so it's like they're really good at like dipping in and out. single one of those. I've had, had a single chance to actually punish it. Sidestep it, but it didn't work. Round three. Okay. Fight. Nice. Oh no! Another failed break. Our throw breaks are just out the window now. I don't know what happened. Same situation as before. Nice. They are steadily gaining on us here. They're steadily gaining. We need a little bit more consistency with our punishment. So that is something that I acknowledge here that like we could be, we're leaving damage on the table with a lot of stuff, but um, overall, like, I think we can win without it. I know we're also like getting kind of comfortable with just attacking the legs constantly. Interesting. They have gone for it a lot. Fight. Wow, that was really good too. We're not placing those correctly. We're not placing those correctly, and it's getting us into a lot of trouble. Round four. Fight. 
Just like a slightly deeper dash when you do it. Oh my gosh, this person. <laughs> I mean, that was really impressive. I'm like, if I had to, if I were a betting man, I would bet that they are a Brian main. Just because it's not either that, they're either a Brian main or like their main, one of their main practice partners is a Brian player. Into the road. We'll see. We'll try. Round I mean, one. fight. <laughs> Feeling very, very confident. Oops, we're okay. Oh, that punish is weird. They're just like shimming out of everything right as I'm about to play it. So like Essentially what happened was they started getting a timing read on us But the thing is the timing read was on like they would do it At max range they'd wait at max range and then they'd shimmy back out right afterwards So good games they fit they downloaded us pretty good at the very end <laughs> 